In today's video, I'm gonna show you guys how to shoe gaze. Not like that. Let me rephrase that. Today I'm gonna to show you guys how to write a shoegaze song, like the band All of Love. Actually, they're not from Leeds, UK. They're from Newtown, Connecticut. Lovely bunch of fellows. I would definitely trust them to jumpstart my car. All right, now we're gonna start off with the good old drums. Now you can't hear it, but I'm playing to a really crappy reference track. Now the drum style is really slow, really chill. Something to stare your shoes at too, right? Now I don't know if you guys figured this out by now yet, if you've watched my videos before, but I'd like to start off with the foundation. The drums, the bass, rhythm guitar, and then lead and anything else afterwards. Now you'll see towards the end of the videos how I mix the bass. I actually duplicated it. One track is more for the lows, and then the other I EQ'd more for the mids and more grittiness, so that you can hear it out of your phone and any other devices that don't really carry that much bass or low end. Now if you haven't recognized by now, the song I'm writing today is influenced by Of Love's song What's For Dinny. Now they play that song in drop D. I'm playing my riff in a regular standard E. E major 7 to be exact. Now I'm sure there are some of you that are like, Willy boy, I can't play like that or I don't have those instruments to produce a song like that. Well. Let's get back to it. Now I forgot to mention, I overdubbed the guitars. One guitar I used both pickups, and the other guitar I tracked I used just the bridge pickup. So no need to sit through this whole guitar track again. Now what is even shoegaze without dirty fuzz? Now I wouldn't be me if I didn't overdub my vocals. Plus it sounds much fuller this way. To my surprise, no one was shaking. And now I'd like to invite you guys to a brief overview of my post-production process. So I did individual adjustments for each track. So check it out. I got the kick, compressor, EQ, and uh, saturation. I duplicated the snare. One, I added reverb. And then uh, the other one is just, you know, the main snare, punchy. So then I'm going to group the drum tracks and then add adjustments to that group, which is going to be compression, infected mushroom pusher, just to add a little bit more, uh, bring up those transients right here with this magic function, add a little bit more low to make it beefy and a little bit more body. And then I'll go ahead and throw on a J37 tape simulator with the preset mastering fat Titan open. So this is what our drums sound like without our master adjustments. So maybe a subtle difference, but it actually makes a big difference, to be honest, if you can recognize it. Uh, next instruments are the bass. So I duplicated the bass. One is for more lows, as far as how I EQ'd it. And then I added the uh, Maserati B72, which I add more bass right here just to kind of beef it up. And then I duplicated the bass, right? And that's for more mids and grittiness. So I added some more drive on the saturator just so that the uh, mid frequencies can stand out. Like if you're listening, you know, through a phone or a laptop speakers or something like that. All right, next is uh, guitar. Guitar I didn't duplicate, I actually overdubbed them. So the first guitar I used both pickups on the Dan Electro and then on the second guitar, the overdub guitar, I used the uh, bridge pickup. I noticed I added a little bit of chorus just to give it uh, some slight color and then a little bit of reverb to smooth everything out. Now for the rhythm guitars, I used the drive from my Fender Hot Rod Deluxe amp. For the fuzz, I used the Analog Man Astrotone, which I've used before in previous videos. So here with the fuzz, I added compression, EQ. Let's actually bring back some of those lows. Infected Mushroom Pusher, I added a little bit more uh, transients in the strumming, and then more low end and more body. For the uh, saturator, I added more drive to it right here. 
So we can hear the fuzz without the adjustments and then with the adjustments. So this is without. Yes, it does give it a little bit more volume, but it also gives it a little bit more grittiness. Now next up is the vocals. The vocals, I do my same processing, compression, EQ. I'll cut the lows. Um, I'll bring it up around like 3K right here and then uh, boost it around, what is that, like 11? And then on the master track, I, I usually add compression. I'll top it off with the J37 tape simulator using the preset mastering fat tighten open and then I'll add a preset mastering. If you go to utilities, audio effect rack, and then mixing and mastering, scroll down, master wide and warm. And that's pretty much about it. Let's start making our way to that final track. Remember kiddos, the possibilities of writing a song like your favorite artist are endless. And it all starts up here. Now whether or not you think today's song sounds like Of Love is your personal opinion. I respect it. But to me, it doesn't really matter. Because by the end of the video, we just wrote a new song. Dream big, work hard, stay focused, and shut the f*** up.